タンタンタンタンタンあれ Where's my stream? There it is. Alright, so let's go over this game. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate at the end. It's like, oh, so close! Like, me and this guy were like, senpai, so just whoever gets their tile first. Unfortunately, they got their tile first. But I still got second, so that's all good. Alright, so let's go over this game, starting off with East 1 0. I have a question on the 11th turn. So, we got two people calling right here. We can't see any Dora, that's kind of scary. And so we were just kind of like avoiding and running away. But then the game suddenly decided, hey, here, take Tempai. Um, so should we take Tempai or not? So, what do we have to drop to take Tempai? We need to either drop the 7 pin or the 3 Sozu. 7 pin looks very dangerous. Um, we can't see, like there's one 4 pin right here, no 7 pins. A couple six pins. This one is done kind of late, and so that makes it even more scary all around it. Um, yeah, so seven pin doesn't look that great. So probably not seven pin. Three so. Um, this guy called from a four, five, eight sozu shape, uh, and then this guy called the eight sozu. So yeah, what does that mean? Um, if they are waiting on the three sozu, then that means that most likely they have a four, five in their hands, so then that would have been a. 4 or 5, um, or what is that? A 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 8 shape. Hmm. Called the 5, discarded the 8, waiting on 3, 6. That's possible. Um, that's possible. <laughs> and then this guy dropped a one followed by two sozu so they could technically have it or that could have just been a tatsu over situation uh it's still kind of dangerous for them but we do take one shantan or we do take tempai with this and so it's not that bad it's like direct return that we're getting from this i don't think i'm really willing to throw a seven pin but i think for three sozu mainly because they called from the five six eight shape right here i'm kind of willing to throw the three sozu is that right or not i don't know but yeah that was my line of thinking there. And then, follow that up a little bit. Five Mon uh, was pretty good. Um, this guy um, didn't change his hand since this Five Mon was dropped because um, two Mon dropped and then they dropped the Five Mon. So, still pretty okay. The three so also, I believe, just was a... Oh, it did come out of their hand. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, that's scary. Hmm. I changed my mind. Uh, maybe actually this is kind of bad. Huh. Actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Especially because the five red five mons dead over there. Um, this actually seems pretty okay. It wasn't called earlier, so they don't have like a five. So no one had like a five five shape. Well, I guess that's obvious because we can see three of the fives. Um, we can see three of the sixes right here, so the way that they could be waiting on the five shape is with like either a four or five or a, uh, let's say, I don't know, or, I mean a four six or a three four, but the three four makes no sense because they dropped the two mon earlier, and then they dropped the three mon after that. So uh, the three mon's also kind of weird because like why would they drop, hold on to a three mon uh, if they have like yeah, yeah, they they probably don't have a 4-6, because they dropped the 2-mon right here. So the only other way you can wait on the 5-mon then is with, like, a 6 and a 7-mon zoo. Um, but that's also kind of weird, because why would you hold on to the 3-mon in that case? So 5-mon is most probably safe for the dealer. Um, it could be dangerous for this person, but there's not that many tiles left for this, uh, so it's actually kind of okay in that regards. Plus, it's far enough away from the door that it can't be used with the 9-mon, so... Probably still worth. Then we got a 7 Monzu, and now at this point, we can't see any of the regular 9 Mondora. Um, like, none of them. We can't see, like, how many? Like, two of the 8s. Uh, so, 7, 8, 9 Mon are really, really scary right now, so we cannot drop this. Uh, and I'm not willing to drop the 7 pin for the things that I mentioned earlier as well, so that means we're just going to fold at this point. Simo. And then they'd sumo on the seven monzu. Gasp. 
Uh, so yeah, let's check to see how bad every- ha 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 I feel good about myself. What was the five Monzu drop? Or the three Monzu drop? Oh, it was just a switch right there. Yeah! Okay, that's cool. Three Monzu. Shunting over there. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. It's, al it's always nice when you're like, okay, I think this tile and this tile are dangerous. And it's like, what are they waiting on? That tile and that tile. Got them. Alright, uh, next up, East 2 0. No Ricci. Well, actually, before that, let's, uh. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Eat. So they Ricci'd right here, and it's like, oh, we suddenly got Tempai! Now we can throw the 1 Mon or the 1 Pin. Uh, now, if we wait on the 1 Pin, it's a Hell Wait. But it, it's likely to come out if someone does happen to get it and they want to throw a safish tile. Um, one Mon's also pretty okay, because four Mon drop right here, so four Mon and one Mon could potentially come out. Um, so yeah, since that's the case, it's like, well, do we take, uh, drop the one Mon away on the one pin, or do we, should we take, um, drop the one pin and wait on the one four? And, yeah, one four. Um, this tile only has one remaining, this tile has, uh, two one Mon and two four Mon. Plus, the 4-mon is a direct safe tile, so it might come out, and if we're lucky, um, the one Mon might even come out. We could declare Ricci here for Ricci Pinfu, potentially, or Ricci Pinfu Dora, potentially, um, Junchan. But we have a really good chance here because the person in Reach has dropped the four Monzu. In other words, one of these two people might be willing to push the one Monzu. And if that is the case, then we can instantly just destroy them. And even if they're not, they're still willing to probably push or to fold with the Genbutsu four Monzu. Which, if they drop that, we can still win off of them and take 3,000 points, because 2,000 plus 1,000 in the middle. So, no Ricci there is pretty nice. Don't. If only they dropped the one Monzu. I bet they didn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's where they were. Oh, this guy would have totally dropped it if they drew, like, a three Monzu. Mmm. Nice stuff. Alright. Um, next up... Actually, let me paste pictures as I go so I don't have to do them all at the end. Alright. And for this one, I'll try to keep the pictures and questions I add on the blog afterwards to a minimum of five. I mean a maximum of five instead of ten like the last one. All right. Uh, so next up, east. Uh, is that east? No, it's south. South one zero push. Oh, this hand, this hand, this hand, this hand. So it started off like really bad, right? And it's like, well, what are we gonna do here? I was thinking, uh, it's really far off, so we might be able to go for like, um. Oh, here, I'll just go back. So it was really far off, and so I was thinking, oh, uh, might be able to, like, get, like, a far off, like, Honitsu stuff going on here. Uh, maybe. Eat. And then this guy reached. Um, now, at this point, there's 3,300 points in the board, and so it's like, ooh, that's shiny, but we're not close enough to Tempai that we can just, like, blatantly push right now, so... Gee. Now, this came out, and we have something very crucial here, which is um, the Norths are, like, perfect. They're amazing. Uh, if anything happens, we can always fold with the Norths. So, technically, we can call anything that we want as long as, you know, whenever we need to fold, we do fold with the North. Gee. So, yeah, safe tile right here with the 9-pin. Let's see. One shot, or one, one cut for each of these, Otakaze, so that's pretty safe. That comes out, and it's like, ooh, Ishantin for, um, let's see, 2,000 points, potentially 2,600 points, plus the 3,100, or 300 on the board. And all we have to do is push, like, this, like, one cut, like, honor tiles? Yeah, we can do that. Hatsu is safe now? Okay, this is great. Chun became safe? Okay, this is great. 
Nine Mon is also safe. But we get to Tempi right here. So now we have direct return. Um, either a 2,000 point hand uh, plus that, so 5,300 points. Or with Sumo, um, it becomes uh, 5,900 points. Um, and all we have to do is risk a half a Suji, which is the 9 Mon, so. Eight, they or six mon, and so they could be waiting on the three six for that, um, and the other bad weights, which is possible because it's an early reach. Um, and if we do throw this as well, the three mon becomes Suji. So someone, if they don't have any safe tiles, might be willing to push that um, or throw that out. So yeah, tempai. And at this point, because we have a tempai worth pushing. Um, this is just basic EV calculations, uh, and then so three so is also not that or six, three so isn't that bad because six so Suji two mon Richie right here. Now we have four thousand points on the board plus three hundred, and that <laughs> six thousand three hundred points for our starting off weak hand. Uh, it's nice. <laughs> it's just kind of a thing of. You don't want to push like a lot of the dangerous tiles um, like right away because there's no point in pushing like a Ricci, a third turn Ricci, who is guaranteed 100% in Tempai when you have like one, two, three, four, like four Shantan hand. Like there's no point in doing that. So you just like inch forward very slowly and you throw your nice safe tiles that you have or. Tiles that you are willing to push because they are so safe and or cheap. Um, and then at the point that you finally get to direct, you know, Tempai as well, then you can push your dangerous tiles. Uh, but before that, you don't want to push your dangerous tiles because if you're risking without any return, there's no point in that. If you have direct return, then you can risk, not the other way around. Rewards come first, then risk, or something like that. Chance of reward comes first. All right, uh, next up, south to zero. I have a lot of questions on this one. So, six turn, what do we do here? Um, we got technically one, two, three, four, five blocks, but of course we don't have a pair. Uh, so at that point I'm like, uh, let's probably get rid of the one, two pin. That's good for a pair. Now, this is a big choice right here. So we can either throw the one Sozu or the five Penzu. We're already in the middle of the um, second row. We have a guaranteed Ipeko with the Dora, Penfu, potential Tanyao. So we have a lot of points. Um, North is also dead, or at least two of them are out. So unless like Dealer has a pair of them, uh, no one can use the regular Dora. So this hand is really good and we're almost willing to push anything. What are we not willing to push if someone reaches next turn? The five pinzu. Even though keeping the five pinzu is really nice because it's like, oh, if we draw another five pinzu here, then boom, instantly we're ready to go, tempai. Uh, but of course, that's true for any other tile that we can draw as well that we keep over the five pinzu. Not to mention, um, if someone does reach E and we have that 5 Pinzu stuck in our hand, we cannot throw that 5 Pinzu, or at least we don't want to throw that 5 Pinzu. Especially if we don't get Tempai and we want to keep 1 Shantan, we shouldn't be pushing 1 Shantan with a 5 Pinzu. Uh, because if we deal in, it's going to be a Red Dora. If we deal into Ipatsu, it's going to be like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we really don't want to keep this 5 Pinzu. So, I think... Probably right here is the best time to throw it. Keeping it is pretty greedy, I think. But of course, I mean, it's not that bad. Like, even as our weight, because we have, like, the two 8-pin thrown in our discards, and so if we do happen to get the first Tempai and then Ricci on that, then it's like, hey. But of course, if we do end up as the first Tempai, I don't know, I might actually Ricci on the 5-pinzu. Cause, like there's no information in our discards so it's a dangerous dangerous trap mm. oh that's so tempting i'm gonna send this one to kazi too check out these cool questions mm. yeah what do i do here 
maybe it actually is worth like if I didn't have the two eight pinzu out, then I think probably better to throw out the five pinzu here. But because it's like an actual viable weight, um, the five pinzu isn't super greedy. Like even if someone reaches and we get into tempai, we can technically fight them by throwing the two monzu and reachy after them. But of course, if someone else reached and we're waiting on the five pinzu, then it becomes useless at that point because. Even if 5 Pinzu is a Nakasuji for us, it is not for them. In other words, it just becomes a regular bad weight. To which, um, if someone does reach you later on, then the 2 5 Monzu is a little bit better. Because more tiles against a Richi is better than keeping the Stora. Especially because we, or well, specifically because we have like three other Yaku Pinfu, Dora, Ipeko. Then add on reach. So yeah, probably still five pins within. Mm. Don't want to be too greedy. Mm. Yeah, the sand's like too good not to throw the five pins. If it just had Ipeko, if it like you know, just had like Pinfu, then eh, five pins, it doesn't seem bad. But because we have Pinfu and Adora and Ipeko, it's like, ugh, yeah, we should get rid of it. It's nothing for a bot, it's nothing but a bother at that point. So we don't need more than a Mongon. Like, we need Tempai on a good weight to actually win our Mongon. Unless you really need the open trap, almost has to come out. Yeah. So yeah, keeping the five pins there is way too Yeet. wishful. And then what do you know? The game's like, I'm going to punish you for that. Um, so now what do you do? Well, let's see. <laughs> I could throw the three of the four Monzu. <laughs> or I could throw the two Monzu, which is a little bit safer. Still keeps my one Shantan. Um Yeah, what do I do here? I could throw the four pinzu, which is technically a Nakasuji right now. But the four pinzu is just like really good in that, hey, you don't have to throw the red five pinzu anymore. And so it's like, okay, yeah, I guess. Um, Sozu is out of the question. Uh, except maybe the seven or the eight Sozu. Monzu is kind of interesting because it's like, well, we, have to, we do have two of the two Monzus, and if this one does pass, we can't technically throw the second one without much loss. Yeet. Uh yeah. What do we throw here? <laughs> if you're wondering why we should throw away the five Pinzu before, because it's like a Dora. Why would you throw away a Dora? Because you don't need that many Dora. You, you need Tempai with at least one Dora. Uh, especially when you have like three other Han, a guaranteed Mongon. It's like, why are you keeping more? This only hurts you. Example A. Yeah, this one's a little bit harder. <laughs> Before, it's like, yeah, drop five pins, easy. Unless you don't listen to yourself. Um, in this case, though, I don't know. Maybe Nakasuji is the best option. Maybe Nakasuji is the best option because they don't have a red door in the middle. And if that's the case, then what could they be waiting on? Like, the only way they can wait on four Pinzu is either with the Tonki or with a, uh... Shabo. Or with a Kanchan. The Kanchan's probably not... Because they would probably take Furi Ten when four Pinzu over four Pinzu. Well, actually, they might take four Pinzu. 
Uh, I don't know. They, I'm, yeah, they do have the Nakasuji set up, so maybe they would wait on four Pinsu. Um, they could, it could technically be a four Pinsu Tanki, because they also have the Nakasuji set up, but... For instance, if they had, like, you know, a two four Pinsu, they drew, complete a Yaku, but they're missing a pair, and then they declare Richie on the two Pinsu, that's technically possible. Hmm. But I guess either way, we probably want to, I don't know, South 2, we're currently in first place, but don't have any major safe tiles. Yeah, we probably want to push this hand, given that, uh, even like Tempai on a Tonki would be okay. So I guess two Monzu is kind of good in that regards. Furu Zensu, or Hapu Zensu. So yeah, I guess two Monzu does give us a lot of options to get to Tempai, which... It's kind of in... Hey, yeah, I guess we should... Yeah, yeah, we should probably push two Manzu. Especially because the door, regular Dora is dead, and we have two of the red Dora, so... This is probably a really cheap hand, um, at which point the two Manzu, or just generally pushing, is probably better. At this point, then it's like, oh, look, I have a pair. <laughs> um, and so that's why I switched over. And... Um, Four mon looked, or three mon looked a little bit better than four mon because we have a couple of the four mon here. Also, we can see a lot of the two mon. Now, this is a tile I really didn't want, did not want to throw, um, because they probably don't have any Dora. At most, they might maybe have like the five monzu, um, but they could have a double south. And if I deal into a double south, that's at least 5,200 points right there. And so that's the only way I can give them points. So I, I am not going to throw this, like no matter what. Probably. <laughs> um, if I get a six Ozu, uh, maybe. Probably. But from Ishant, and I am not going to throw south. Definitely not. Um, six Monzu right here is a Nakasuji between the three Mon and the nine Mon. Two Mon safe. South came out, and then they took Mother Ichi. Hmm. Rion Peiko. <laughs> oh yeah, look, it is Rion Peiko. Just keep the nines, the twos, and the threes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, that one's kind of interesting. Next up, cell three zero wet. Uh, yeah, yeah, I screwed up on this hand. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, Pashi Pahai. It's not a thing. We need nine to reset the hand. Um, so yeah, what should I do here? Cell three, me and second place are pretty close together, so ideally a quick hand is good. Um, so, normal progression, potentially move over to, like, Chitoitsu if I get, like, another pair or something. Um, either way, I probably should drop one Mon starting and just kind of, like, go a normal progression instead of what I did, which was just kind of, like, we... Uh, that was pretty normal, actually. One Mon should have gone before that. Nine Mon probably there instead of nine pin. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And then these two started calling a lot, and it's like, uh, I guess I'll get out of your way. But then the door dropped, and no one called it, so that was great. Then another door dropped, and now we know he didn't have an Onko, so that's even better. So these both look really cheap now, and so it's like, eh, I guess I'll push a little. We still want to be careful of the dealer, because they've been doing some weird stuff since the beginning. Uh, and so we were just like waiting for them to, you know, declare Richie or whatever. Especially with everyone open, um, they don't have any reason not to declare Richie right now, I think. Especially in last place. Unless, of course, they have a Damo Death Hand. Which is possible. So I really didn't want to throw the 9-6 Monzu here, because the 7 and the 8 are still like, whoa. 
Um, the 9-6 Monzu, the only part of that has, that's been dropped was a 9 Monzu earlier, so this is really dangerous, so that's what I'm like, okay, I'm out. Eat. This guy finally reached, and so we're just defending to them. We're not willing to drop these. Don't. Why you ask? Because they were in Tempai for 1,000. <laughs> but yeah. Alright. Uh, next up, South 4 0. Third turn. Oh, this one was really nice. Um. So yeah, should we declare Ricci right here, or should we not declare Ricci? And my answer to this is no way in hell should we reach. Mainly because if we Ricci, um, Four Sozu's like really hard to come out either way. Like no one's gonna drop a Four Sozu, unless like it was a very specific situation. For instance, like I don't know the last hand where we're like, oh look at our amazing hand, and we have to push this or else we'll die. And then they drew a four Sozu on the very first turn. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Um, not to mention, we have a really nice upgrade chance here. We can get a seven Sozu, we can get a six Sozu, we can get a nine Sozu, we can get a Haku, we can call the Haku. Uh, there's a lot of ways that we can prove this hand. So we should probably take Tempai right now, mainly because if we do draw four Sozu, then that's great. Um, but I don't think we should reach you this, because there's a lot of ways we can improve this, and Four Sozu is not likely to drop anyway, even if we do reach. Gee. Then right there, haha, -ha, instant tempai. Gee. If I would have drawn, like, a 2 so, even a 3 so, a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so, I also would have just reached right there. Um, and then, of course, if we call this, then we take the double side weight on the 5 so and the 8 so. Alright, and yep. That's all the things that I got for this game. So let's write up um, do, 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 the generalizations real quick. Let's see, first one, east first turn, 11, um, what do we do here? Actually, did I actually take a picture of this one? Ooh, four more items, and I have a thousand items in my Mahjong Failures uh, picture directory. Nice. Uh, let's see. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Fourth drop would... Oh, fourth would drop in any situation, but there's so many important things, you can't reach it. Mm. Alright, uh, next one. Uh, what game is this? I should probably separate the games better on this post. Alright, East 1-0. One, one Shantan, not willing to push 7 pin, but we are willing to take um, a 3 so here with what we know from Dealer. Mainly because this is direct return, giving us a potential hand to shut down this round. Next up, East 2-0, no reach. Did I take a picture of that one? No, I did not. Let's 
So yeah, we don't. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we don't want to reach here because our winning tile is the safe tile of the person to reach. Um, even though four Sozu is a little bit more likely to come out than the Shonpai one Monzu, or even though the four Monzu is more likely to come out than the Shonpai one Monzu, um, we still have the chance to get the one Monzu right here. East. And if the one mon does drop, then that would be Pinfu, Dora, um, Junchan, so a Damo Mongon, which is really nice. And even the 4-mon drop is still 2k plus the 1k reach sick. Next up, south, 1-0. Uh, those are pretty self-explanatory. Um, we don't want to risk until we actually have direct reward, and then once we actually have direct reward, then we're willing to take the big risk. Before that, we only want to take very, like, small risks. So, like, all of these tiles that I dropped were either, like, one-cut honor tiles, um, or genbutsu. And then only at the point that we got into tempai are we willing to, uh, throw the not the no suji tile. In this case right here, at least. South two zero six turn. And then right here. Um eighth turn. So with confirm D Peko, Dora and Penfu already in hand. Uh, we don't need the extra draw from open, especially because, uh, the regular Dora is dead, or pretty much dead. And even if someone does reach you later on, we can like nearly push anything to them because we can see a couple of the Dora. The main thing we can't push to them is um, Dora or later on um, like a double tone. Anything that gives them a lot of points, we want to avoid throwing those. So that's why we should have got rid of five pin right there. Eat. Let's see. And uh, for which one to drop right here, uh, my argument is that we should just go ahead, drop two mon, and push. Um, four Pinzu is not a bad draw because it's like a uh, Nakasuji, but exactly because it's a Nakasuji, I think the four Pinzu is not that great there. Mainly because um, in the case that they do have a two four Pinzu in their hand, and you know they draw another um, whatever. Uh, Reaching with the 2-pin on waiting on the 4-pin, I think is perfectly acceptable there because they have that Nakasuji. Um, furthermore, because they threw the Dora earlier, probably don't have any more Dora because why would you throw <laughs> um, north from a Onko of it? 
and we have two of the red Doras, so at most, it's pretty cheap. Um, Tumon also, if it does pass later on, if we really want to fold, we can technically fold that again with that. And also, it keeps our options open um, for getting into Tempai with a potential Ipeko, Dora Dora, even like Pinfu Tanyao, like Death Hand. Uh, I'll take a picture of that. Wait, I already did take a picture of that. Let's see. Next up, um, South 3-0. Did I take any pictures of this one? I don't know. Uh, this was the one where it's mostly... Even if you start off with, like, eight Kyushu high titles, like, don't freak out. Like, you know, um, keep to your standards. Uh, usually what you want to maybe do in one of the, these cases is to potentially go for, like, a higher point hand kind of go for like a far off Honitsu or something because even if you don't get it you have a lot of safe tiles to fall back to um, and then the, by the time you do end up getting Tempai it's going to be later on anyway so you need something worth pushing but in this case right here we're in South 3 uh, currently in first place pretty close to second place so getting even a Yakuhai tile to get a quick Kawashite is really beneficial here so we should just um, do our normal um, one mon drop here then South 4, third turn. Do not reach. Why do we not reach? Mainly because it doesn't actually help us that much. Um, if we reach, it does give us the Yaku, but the 4 Monzu is a really, or 4 Sozu is a pretty usable tile, um, and especially to a dealer reach, it's going to be very, very hard for that to come out. So. If we don't call Richie here, there's a lot of ways we can improve our weights uh, and then call Richie if we need to, or we can even call the Haku and take instant tempai on the 5 8 Sozu as well. So, because we have a lot of upgrade options, we can just take Damaten here uh, and then wait for those to come before we actually act on it. Let's see, did I see this one yet? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. South four zero. completely forgot what the previous there we go one two three four five six seven eight ninth turn so. all right and that's all for that game ah, okay <laughs> So, I think that's it for the day. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to be putting up all these notes I took from the games up on my blog. Um, it'll be like the first update on it in like a year. So I'll be adding that um, probably sometime tomorrow uh, in the mornings when I wake up and actually compile all of the like 20 pictures and all that into the post. Uh, and then also put this up on like YouTube so I can link t uh, to the videos and yeah. My blog, by the way, is technically tenho.blog. 
because I saw a very nice URL and I just or domain name and I decided to pick it up. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.